So this morning, ladies and gentlemen, we are with the beast. The beast, the KTM 1290 Super Duke R. This is quite nice, this one, isn't it? <laughs> this has got to be one of the most cool and hottest and fast and raw bikes that I've seen at ICMA so far. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're focusing on the same theme as the original bike with this sure. new this new launch, aren't they? And they're just effectively saying that it's even more beastly than the original. And to be fair, having looked at it, it, it got to say, it's seriously impressive bit of kit, isn't well, it's it? Well, the, the looks to match as well, right? Oh. I already know, I mean, the Super G, it's got a massive reputation of just being a hooligan bike, yeah. it's a beast. Yeah. They're actually saying that the beast has got beastlier, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. is similar to what they're saying about the 890 uh, Duke R. Yeah. The scalpel's just got, uh, scalpel's just got scalpeler. Yeah. Scalpeler. <laughs> <laughs> so the beast has got beastlier. And yeah, wait, I mean, hey, everything about it screams beast. I mean, 1290 uh, twin. With 107, it's 180. 80, 100, no, it's 180. 180. It's, so it's, it's, it's quite interesting uh, having spoken to one of the other manufacturers uh, yesterday about what, what they're trying to do this time around with new bike launches, especially with Euro 5 legislation and how much more difficult it is to get bikes through that test. Well, it's really hard to make an improvement in that, you know, in, 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 with all that into account, right? Oh, without a shadow of doubt. But, you know, even, but, even to remain the same horsepower and weight and all that yeah. kind of stuff, that's a massive challenge. Never mind making improvement. Well, well the interesting thing, and, 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 and this is the thing I think that excites me more than anything, is actually they're reducing weight. So yeah. some of the manufacturers have done it. They've done it with this. this. This bike is six kilos lighter than it was last time around. There is a slight power height. This goes up, I think, as we just said, to about 180 horsepower. Um, but a reduction in weight, has multiple benefits. It means the bike's easier to slow down. It means the emissions are lower. It means it's faster. It means it's more agile. It's more flickable. There are so many more benefits. But I mean, I think, you know, well, that is one huge advantage. For me, it's the thing that really stands out is the way the bike looks. Oh, yeah. I just absolutely love the styling on this bike. I wasn't, you know, uh, the, the original Super Duke for me, I wasn't super convinced. I wasn't super convinced. I wasn't convinced. Uh, that, you know, th this time the draw factor is. It's, I mean, you know, I'm it's struggling not to salivate right it's now. It's fantastic. Well, uh, you know, interestingly enough, you're actually in the market for a uh, super powerful uh, naked yes. bike, aren't you? Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, one of... Th this has got to be on the... Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, I, I think I had some kind of strange and erotic dream about this last night, having seen it yesterday. Well. Um, you know, this, Kawasaki's new ZH2, which I'm hoping we'll probably talk about at some point. Um, a tribe, I believe, I don't know whether the bike's here, but I believe they're launching an uprated speed triple. Okay. I just love a good naked, but I've got to say, at the moment, this is top of the list. I've looked yeah. at Ducati's new V4 Street Fighter, which I'm assuming we'll talk about as well. Mm. But for me, at the moment, this is this is top of the pile. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I love what they've done with the exhaust system. Obviously, the camera's around there, but um, the exhaust system looks fantastic what, what, in my opinion obviously this one's been fit with a full uh, Akrovich, Akrovich uh, yeah. system but even the standard one looks absolutely mint well it I mean really it, I think I think you know this is going to be a massive favorite for this bike you know one of the things that we were talking about with Ollie who's on our camera today um, last night when we first saw the bike was the the standard system um, because it's got a single sided swing arm actually, actually it, does, it kind of covers it, it does, a bit, doesn't it but when you sit when you see it with yeah. the cut of it I mean that just looks fantastic it and I, I think you know the proportions are right the packaging looks good I know I know um, you, you can you can be deceived when you're in a, when you're in this kind of environment when you're looking at bikes but actually it's quite a compact machine oh, really compact. Um, I mean can you imagine what this is gonna ride like on oh. the road it's just gonna be like just raw well, that, we, that's my that's my impression I, I, I it's mean, be super we, raw. We, we, we probably should have got Ollie not in on this one because I know that he's ridden the original bike I haven't had the yeah. opportunity and obviously we've ridden the 790 and I thought that was quite a Quite a bit of a monster, but this is a whole other level. This you is, know, yeah. monstrous yeah. power, huge torque. Um, it's just a wheelie machine. It's a hot rod. Yeah. It is the it's the kind of hot rods of the Super Nakers, isn't it? And you know, mm. everybody seems to be kind of just incrementally increasing yeah. power and dropping weight. And they've done you know pretty much the same thing with this machine. That being said, though, it has got all the bits to sort of complement that. So it's not just all power. I mean, they've no. done a huge amount of work on the chassis, chassis. and that's actually the, the big thing that KTM are talking about is the chassis making it. Um, making it stiffer, better handling, yeah. uh, more agile. And more of course, stable. More stable, and uh, pairing it with some you know, fantastic components. I mean, ah. WP Apex uh, Pro suspension, which is just 
phenomenal. Yeah. These new, brand new Brembo, Brembo uh, Stilemma. Stilemma, yeah, which Stilemma. again is the, the kind of really the, the new break. M50. Really clever braking ah. system. I mean, you know, CNC specifically to like induce sort of more airflow so you don't get that, um, that build up of heat when you're really, really going yes. hard. I mean, it's a clever system. And actually, I think a fair bit of the weight is saved via the, it, the new it, Brembo. So yeah, when, when we were talking to Paul, yes, he said that the, the effect of they're sort of putting, peppering holes in the caliper yeah. to make it lighter, but, lighter, but also to make it, the, to improve the airflow to, mm. to stop you getting your brakes too hot. It's so clever. The other thing I love about this is the switch gear. I know yes. it seems like a really silly thing, but I think they've, They've improved that massively. It all feels really, really premium. nice quality and premium. That's the right word. Yeah. The finish does feel another notch up from the previous bike. Yeah, I, so, I would totally agree with you. I want one. I've and, decided. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so pricing on this is not wholly confirmed yet for the UK, but we're looking at about sort of 17, 18 grand for between, this. Between, I think between 17 and a half and 18K, that doesn't include the the tech pack, which is something they're obviously doing for this this uh, this round of uh, and that's releases. That's fitted on this bike. Say again. And that's fitted on this bike tech pack. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and that again is very very similar to what we talked about with the with the 890s uh, R track mode, multiple uh, rider modes, nine way traction. And he was, uh, Paolo was just saying to us that when you when you're on track and you you really put some he heavy braking down, it'll flash the rear light to let other people know that you're yeah, really. That's cool. So there's some really nice features, but you are adding another 700 quid, basically. Yeah. 950 euros. Okay. So okay. Yeah. it's not the cheapest bike in the world, but you are getting something really special. So that's been our first look at the KTM Super Duke R1290. Absolutely love the bike. It's gorgeous. So stay tuned. We're going to be shooting more bikes from Eichmer and the latest, basically, for the 2020 season. Uh, please like, please comment. Love to hear what you think about the bike. Uh, please subscribe to the channel as well, and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell too. And we'll see you next time.